Is it possible to process Super 8 film at home using a regular developing tank? I think so. And today I'm going to try to prove it. I have several Super 8 cameras that I would like to test for several reasons. I have a camera that I want to sell and some cameras that were serviced recently, but I haven't tested them. In the future, I'm going to test 4 or 5 cameras using one cartridge of Super 8 and send it to the lab. But today, I'm going to try to develop, no pun intended, a method to process a few feet of Super 8 at home using the Yankee developing tank that I already own and the chemicals I use to process my black and white film. Using color film to test cameras would allow me to see things I won't be able to see in black and white like chromatic aberration and color cast. But at least I'll be able to see if the camera advances the film properly and other factors like exposure, focus, sharpness and framing. I have used this developing tank to process 16mm film before. The tank was designed to be used with several formats like 120, 135 and 110. So processing 35 and 16mm motion picture film is possible with the tank. You are limited to 5 or 6 feet, which is the amount of film the tank can handle, but it is possible. Now, the reel cannot handle Super 8 film. I could just put a few feet of film inside the janky tank, close it and develop it using the spaghetti method. But I know I won't get the results I want. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I have to modify the reel. An easy solution to this problem would be to design the entire reel and 3D print it. I don't have the skills required to design the spiral, and I know 3D printed parts can be rough, so I'd rather use the part I already have. The plastic they use to manufacture this specific reel is very smooth. My idea is to design and 3D print just the top part of the reel to keep the film in place. Super 8 is very small, and the spiral won't have a problem leading the film. So, let's do it! Okay, the part feels good, it keeps the film in place, and I was able to insert the film and push about 3 feet of it. I'm not using the entire capacity of the reel, but better than nothing. When you process film, you have to agitate the tank to keep the chemistry moving, so it keeps working all the time. Every time you agitate the tank, you have to hit it against a flat surface. The impact makes the bubbles that are trapped between the layers of film move up to the surface. This is important because a bubble that stays for a long time at the same place won't let the chemicals get in touch with the film, causing marks where the film was not properly developed. A flat cover like the one I have here won't allow the bubbles to escape to the surface. So, time to change the design. I already have the measurements, so all I have to do is replace the flat part with a wagon wheel-like design. Manufacturers have used this shape for years, and I'm sure it will give me the results I need. Okay, here's the new design. This part looks great, it rotates freely, it doesn't wobble, and it allows me to see the amount of film loaded on the reel. More importantly, it will allow the bubbles to escape to the surface. I played with the reel and loaded the film several times, and I noticed a couple of things. One is I have to make a locking mechanism to keep the top part in place. The other one is I have to remove the steel ball that they use to advance the film. The steel ball is putting a lot of pressure on the film, and 
since Super 8 is so small, the ball may scratch the area where the image is. I tried several solutions and finally, I was able to design a part that keeps the top part in place. It's not exactly strong, but it gets the job done. Now that I removed the steel ball, the film flows much better. I just discovered I can ratchet the reels just like with the original design. Ratcheting allows me to take full advantage of the reel. I can use it in its entire capacity, which is around 6 foot. The tank is ready, all I have to do now is shoot some film and process it. I'm going to use this Bolu 5008S that I got recently and I want to test. I'm going to shoot some film to see how the camera performs. I'm using Kodak 7266, also known as Tri-X, to shoot this exercise. Now, you may be thinking I'm going to destroy a cartridge of Super 8 just to process 5 or 6 feet of film. That's not the case. I develop a method that allows me to extract film out of the cartridge without destroying it. I can keep reusing the same cartridge and developing short batches of film until I finish the cassette. If you want to see that method in action, please give the video a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's free. There are tons of videos that explain the process of developing black and white film. The same steps you follow to process black and white 35mm film apply to Super 8, so I'm not going to explain the process. I always use Kodak D76 Developer and Kodak Fixer. This is not the right chemistry for this kind of film. Tri-X is a positive film, and by using D76 I'm cross-processing the film as negative. I have gotten great results with 16mm film, so I'm sure it will work fine with Super 8 as well. Alright, here it is. Can you see those little frames? This is great, and judging by eye, it looks fine. I'm going to shoot something more interesting and I'll show you guys the result in another video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Cinematography Lab.